Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. I wish to speak with you today about karma. People often wonder, does karma really exist? For every action you take, will there be a reaction? The answer is, It depends on where your consciousness is. On the level of 3D, karma certainly exists. It's all an illusion, but you're experiencing the effects of the illusion. Someone once described karma as taking a full swing at a golf ball in a small bathroom. You're not exactly sure when or how it's going to come back to you, but you know in that circumstance, you will be hit by a golf ball at some point. The interesting thing is, there is no solution that's satisfying on the level of karma. even doing good so that good comes back to you, locks you into patterns that are not your true identity. It's important to see that there is no action that you can take on that level that will not have another action. It's almost like every solution that you put forth on this level creates another problem that needs another solution. The answer is to rise above the level of karma, not as an avoidance, not as a put down of 3D consciousness, but as a way to disconnect from karma and to choose again. When you choose love and not your concept of love, because that comes from the ego, but when you really choose love and you're more interested in love and forgiveness than righting a wrong or doing good, or vanquishing an enemy, then you disengage from karma. And for you, it doesn't exist. Much the same as we've talked about your experience of your world is quite different from someone else's. Your world will change when you choose again for love, for God. While you have this body, you will still take action. And you will still relate on this level. But your choices for love and your choices for acceptance and forgiveness have profound consequences, not only in your experience, but in the experience of everyone else. The answer is not to win the karmic game. The answer is to rise above karma itself so that what you do with your arms and legs and what you say is guided by some higher principle than that of right and wrong. When you come from love, 
starting with loving yourself, you transform the world. This is what transfigures the earth. You are choosing differently. Your conscious decision to be a love in the world and your willingness to release what you think is a good idea. Things that you've learned, things that you're comfortable with, release all of them in the name of love. Let yourself be surprised. It will always come down to this. Love is the only thing that's real and it's the only answer. It is the solution that doesn't create a problem. When you choose this holy instant, when you accept what is right in front of you, you release karma at that moment and you replace it with unconditional love of yourself and everyone else. And that brings about transformation. Let the love flow through you. Let it nourish you and nurture everyone else. And let your heart fill with joy. What a blessing this day is. I love you very much and I'll speak with you again soon.